A Halloween scare for residents in one Wyandotte neighborhood that forced the cancellation of trick-or-treating. City officials say a roach infestation is so bad at one home that the Monday on the 20th Street has now been canceled. And they say that cancellation is to stop the roaches from spreading. Victor Williams joins us live with the latest on this cancellation, Victor. Yes, yeah, Sandra and Pamela, you guys said it best. The Halloween this year is not going to be the same for folks right here in Wyandotte, all because of the roach problem at this house being so bad. The city doesn't want anyone out there tracking and eat eggs on the bottom of their shoes. It doesn't matter whether you're a tidy person, a hoarder, roaches come in all these houses. Becky Wallace says living the last few months on 20th Street in Wyandotte has been kind of nasty. And when you think about having either one of them in your home, it just gives you that dirty feeling, makes you want to itch. It was a garbage man who went away, discovered the problem to begin with. I think they picked up one or two bags and said, whoa, you know, there's bugs just crawling all over. They contacted the police and they were right out. But Tom Vargo says the roaches spread to the area because the extermination and cleanup process wasn't handled properly. A lot of uh, the contents of the house was put in the backyard and of course roach eggs get all over the place cause the roaches to uh, migrate all throughout the neighborhood. As a result the city has deemed the entire area untrick or treatable. Remember when the kids were little and they dragged their costumes and they're dragging their bags? Well from my understanding that you can step on roach eggs, you can take them home, you can spread them. You know, I would not want them to take them home to their mom and dad's house. Becky has lived here over 30 years and has never seen a roach until now. There was cockroaches in my driveway. There was a lot of baby ones. But at least it appears things are moving in the right direction. Tomorrow morning, the city, from what I understand, will be spraying. They have people that are going to come in, get rid of all the contents in the house, and we're going to take it from there. Now, City Council did meet to talk about this matter many times before, actually. We're told on the 10th and then also the 14th. At the same time, we're told that there was a family living at the home. They were given 30 days to get everything cleaned up, and unfortunately, that was not able to happen. So they have now been removed. Victor Williams, Local 4.